Hello, hello, hello to all of my Aquarius. This is Queen Amora coming to you with your general reading. Happy Freedom Friday. It's already Friday in some parts of the world. This video is, the video is from the 28th of October through the end of November. Let's get into it. Hopefully you all are still getting your rest. Hopefully you all have let the solar eclipse completely flush out all the toxins in your spirit and hopefully you all are resting your brains hopefully you all are writing out the things that you intend to manifest hopefully you all are really welcoming this reset aquarius so if you're still a little tired please get your rest you still got some time to just rest your mind because uh, first quarter moon energy is all about taking action, okay? And so this first quarter moon coming up on the 1st of November is in Aquarius. So I got some questions I want you all to write down. Anybody who wants to type these out, I will pin them to the top of the video. We're going to also talk a little bit about your ascendant sign, right? Again, this video is for people who have Aquarius anywhere in their chart. Sun, moon, rising, slash ascendant, wherever Aquarius is in your chart, take what resonates with you. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit about your ascendant sign. Even though I put these videos up on my second channel and you guys are watching them, I want to make sure I really drive the point home to make sure since there's been a major reset with this solar eclipse and we got a lunar eclipse coming up soon, but we're not going to talk about that right now. We're going to just focus on this. I want you all to understand this is about your relationships with other human beings, right? How people show up. When people say when I met them, they were wearing a mask and, and, and that's not who they really are. Well, guess what? The question is, is everyone wearing a mask when you meet them? The answer is yes, everybody is. That's your ascendant sign. So your ascendant sign is how we show up to the world, how we show up. Like when we first come out of the portal, how we show up in the world, that's our ascendant sign, that's our rising. So you hear ascendant, rising, both the same. You can use them interchangeably, right? But your ascendant sign is called a sign of self, your self-awareness, your self-sufficiency, your self-interest. In many ways, your rising sign signifies your goals, your aims, your objectives, your, and it also indicates main thrust of your creative powers. And to some degree, the ascendant sign slash rising sign is also influences your physical characteristics and your mannerisms. Yes, I put a video up on the second channel. I will link it below in the description, but I'm going to go through, just give you like a little bit about if your ascendant is Aries all the way down to Pisces. So let's get into it. The energy, like I said before, has already been cleared. First card out of the deck is the Nine of Wands. Very, very nice, Aquarius. Very nice. We have the Death card coming up. We have the Hierophant card. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. So let's go. All right. The Death card and the Hierophant card. All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So something was pretty intense for somebody. Um, something was pretty intense. Again, only take what resonates with you. Please do not attack the messenger with whatever comes through here. Again, if it doesn't, if it doesn't resonate with you, it just doesn't resonate with you. Again, I'm trying to help you all to, from this point moving forward, because I've been talking to you all about, um, you know, this is how you recognize this. This is how you recognize that, so on and so forth. But again, you could have still been contaminated by outside influences. And so now that there's been this huge reset with the solar eclipse, hopefully these things are a lot clearer for you all. Okay. Okay. So here we go, Aquarius. So in your major arcana, which is up here, this looks like that something has ended with either a Taurus or because the, the Hierophant card is Taurus's card, or it could have ended with an organization. So if you if you have a great relationship with the Taurus, obviously I'm not talking about you. Like I speak highly of all signs, right? But or, or and um or you could have ended a relationship with an organization, or it could be both, right? And so it was whatever it was, it was pretty intense. It was like it had to go, it was like a deep wound, like a deep wound, because this is Scorpio right here. Scorpio is um Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. And if you saw my last, you know, leading up to Scorpio is that sign that um, reminds us because it's ruled by those two planets. It digs up everything that's unhealthy and that's wounded in your spirit. It brings everything to the surface until you have you have purged all of that energy. OK, so it could have been a job where you worked on where it was like some deep, unhealthy feelings about a situation. Maybe you could have gotten burned by the job or, you know, like, I mean, you just had a horrific time on that job. And that was just something you feel like something you just could not part ways with. Right. So 
you um, finding things to nurture yourself. This is why I've been talking so much about your moon sign. Finding ways specifically in how to nurture yourself when you're going through having those low vibrating feelings about something. This is why rest is so important. One, be gentle with yourselves because again, we are just... We just had the solar eclipse and the um, new moon on the 25th of this month. So what is like the uh, 27th at the time of filming. So that's only two days out. Don't rush yourself to healing. Something is over. I mean, something is completely over. And if I'm telling you, it could take years, depending on how deep that thing was. Let's say you had kids with that person or you were married to that person or, you know, you felt like I was going to be on this job for until I retire. And that and something happened to just kind of sort of just push you out into another space. And it looks like it, it, it kind of launched, it pushed something in you to create at least eight streams of income. Also to kind of sort of put you out in, put you kind of, I want to say kind of in a spotlight because it's not like you really are kind of helping you to get back out there. Either you and a business partner or you and a love interest or somebody is going to be creating some kind of, like somebody could be opening up a homeless shelter. Somebody could be opening up some kind of business where you are impacting your community and the world at large. But somebody had to go through a serious, deep, emotional, right, like a real intense rebirth before that could happen. Like something that just took you to uh, uh, like a whole nother level, right? That just really kind of pushed you back up on that throne, right? Uh, one, one of the things that, one of the things that, um, that I really personally love about Aquarius is that you all are, you all don't seek the spotlight. Like you, you all, your car, even your card in tarot is the star card. You're not really actively seeking the spotlight. And so for some of you all, you would rather kind of sort of just, you know, and when I say play second to people, I don't, I don't mean that in any demeaning way or whatever. It's not that you all have to be first. Like you don't have to be in a, if, if watch some celebrities that are Aquarius they are they are stars in their own right, but they don't have a problem with supporting other people. They they're just that comfortable in their own lane. I mean, just and some people that makes them very unsettled. It makes them very uncomfortable, and and that also kind of to some degree makes you all sort of the um, kind of sort of the um, the a uh, target Aquarius. So if you can find some kind of way to nurture yourself, that's why I really want you all to find your moon sign because, and I'm going to talk a little bit about if your ascendant is, like I said, how you show up for the world. Also, to some degree, it affects your physical appearance. But if you if you all can find out what really nurtures your spirit um, by your moon sign, that's going to help you during those times when you feel like you're getting, you're stressed out or people are trying to vi trying to drag you into low vibrating energy. Okay. Aquarius, I really want you all to start because somebody is going to be in a space where you're helping people and there's a lot of money involved here, right? So it won't be like you'll be able to kind of sort of hide out, you know, and kind of hide or duck behind somebody because it's like, nah, there's a difference between a person because people use the word uh, introversion and shy um, interchangeably, and they really are not because there's a spectrum of that, right? So some people are introverted, but they're extroverted when they need to be. You, you know what I'm saying, Aquarius? Like, okay, I've, I've had enough. Like, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, I've absorbed as much energy as I could. Like, I've, like some public speakers or some entertainers. That's how you meet like some entertainers. They finish their, they finish their set and they're gone. And people are like, oh my god, I paid all this money for this ticket. And so, I mean, truthfully, the ticket that you, the fact that you paid for, that's proof that you were there, that you saw them, whatever. However, the stadium or the venue is laid out, you can prove the person here. My ticket says I was sitting on the front row or whatever. So this is where where you are starting to become more comfortable in your skin, Aquarius, to a point where if people were accusing you of wearing a mask, what they meant was your ascendant. It takes a while to meet your sun sign because your sun sign is your life purpose. That's your creative life force. That's your will. That's where, that's where, and it's also your ego, right? Your lower frequency, it's your ego. 
Your moon sign is what truly nurtures you, but your ascendant is how you show up to the world, okay? So just trying to make sure. So something had to happen that was real deep and intense, and it could have been from either an organization or organization, singular or plural, or it could have been from a person that really kind of pushed you back out into the spot. They played a role to some degree pushing you back out into the spotlight. In other words, somebody got down off of their powerful position. You lowered your frequency. You decided, hey, I'm, I don't want to vet any more energies. And there's a number of reasons why you could have done that, Aquarius. You could have been zombified out. You could have gotten sick and tired of people calling you stuck up and antisocial and you think you better than somebody. And you could have gotten tired of those things and said, you know what, let me make myself more relatable and let me see if I can nurture their spirit, but completely forgot all about yours. Hopefully that makes some sense to somebody. So this long and arduous journey of uh, learning yourselves, Aquarius, you're learning your sun, moon, rising, you're learning the other places placements in your chart, all of which I have on my second channel, right? So let's get more into it. So yeah, let's get more into it. Somebody is back on their throne. You're vetting all the energies. And so here's, here's the, um, the cool thing about this Aquarius is now that you are, and everybody is evolving by the way, but now that you are learning more about yourselves, Aquarius, and what your, your, how to mother yourself, what real true self-care looks like according to your moon sign, right? You could be different from another Aquarius. What, what nurtures them? One Aquarius may be different than what nurtures another Aquarius, right? And so what I mean by that, let's say your ascendant sign, please, first of all, go pull your birth chart, but let's say your ascendant sign is Aries. That means that the way you show up is you are adventurous and pioneering. If you're a Taurus ascendant or rising, you tend to be placid or easygoing. If it's Gemini, someone who is in constant motion, someone who seems restless, eyes shifting from left to right, you know, somebody whose hands are always moving. If you're, if you're um, ascendant is Cancer, you're pretty sensitive to emotional signals from others. So you pick up on energies very well, very much like a crab and its antennas picking up on energies, you know, like absorbing energies from the universe. If you're ascendant or you're rising as Leo, nobility of character, high ideals and great personal magnetism. If it's Virgo, you know, deep and tender emotions and you create, create uh, uh, you care a great deal about other people, but you also have this very analytical outlook. If it's Libra, natural charm, grace and poise. If it's Scorpio, you have intensity, like this this dynamic sense about you that's uh, like rooted underneath the surface, like this intensity, like in your eyes, something about you is very, very intense. That's the energy you give off to, you know, when people meet you, that's that mass, that intensity. Here we have, and then Sagittarius, progressive, you know, this, this person who is full of optimism about the future, Capricorn, with strangers, they're often quiet, reserved, perhaps even shy, but once they open up, they can be lively, friendly, warm, and expressive. It's if you're rising as Aquarius, you are um, you are quick witted and and you're very lively. You're open in your dealings. You're honest and truthful. If you're rising as Pisces, you carry within yourself a strong artistic gift that is um, sooner or later to find some kind of expression. So. Um, and if you're rising as Pisces, that also means that you have an active fantasy life, right? So yeah, let's keep it moving forward. So like I said before, somebody got down off their throne to prove to other people that they are just as they, so you, you can't, you got off your throne to prove to other people that you can find out what nurtures them, but it wasn't being reciprocated. So something major had to happen in somebody's life for them to get back up on their throne. And this time you won't dethrone yourself. So you're vetting everything coming your way. So again, sources saying, okay. Okay. Your, your life purpose is coming back around. Remember your sun sign, if it's an Aquarius, that's your will, that's your life purpose. And so somebody's life purpose is to um, create space for at least eight streams of income and also to do some kind of some kind of humanitarian work where it puts you kind of in a center of attention, right? And so, and so, you don't have to worry about these situations that are over because they won't have access to you like they may have had access to you before. You don't have to worry about that. Source has already protected you from that. So here are your five questions, Aquarius. I want you all to write these down. I'll pin them to the top. Somebody can write them down and I'll pin them to the top or type them out. I'll pin them to the top of the questions. The first question is, what can you do to use your passion for serving on a large scale? Are you creating space? The second question is, are you creating space for yourself to connect with your inner alchemist? 
perfectionist and innovator. The third question is, are you ready to think outside the box and delete old beliefs and rules to write your own? The, the fourth question is, is using technology a drain or gain for you? A lot of people don't even realize when you're logging into Instagram or no, I'm only even just say Instagram, anything, Google, it, wherever, Facebook, whatever, it can be draining. It depends on what kind of content you're watching, uh, what you're engaged in online. You can literally get offline and feel like I need to go to sleep. I, I had this whole day planned out. Or are you gaining something from social media? You can gain something also by those sites, Facebook, uh, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, right? And then last but not least, are you ready to start a group in your community to initiate and create positive change on a local or global scale? And what could be the focus? So let's keep it moving forward. Yes, here we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and also the Nine of Cups. Let's keep it moving forward. Lots and lots and lots of money that somebody gave away at first. When you get that off your throne, this is why hitting a huge reset button everybody should, should be in complete gratitude for this solar eclipse i'm serious because it was like somebody it's like somebody flushed down like a clog in your system like throughout your system it was like something just like that that like source came through and send that solar eclipse to flush out all of those toxins and all of that in your spirit and so somebody has also been waiting on a message about some money and so while you were looking for an approval for other people source was like hello i'm over over here i already gave you an approval for the things that you've been waiting for just continue nose to the ground continue to keep working and that thing that you have been waiting on for the approval is coming your way no more just giving away the energy of money saying i don't like money people money is evil that's something that you've you've heard somebody been pouring that into your water your whole life whether you saw it in your family where people were fighting over money aquarius or you know you saw people do you know, real kind of evil things just to get to the to rise to a a, um, a position in the workplace, something attached to money. But what you're doing with money is really helping to save lives right in that vein of being a humanitarian, which is going to cause you a lot of inner peace and happiness and wish fulfillment. Here we go. Boom. Wish fulfillment. So when I tell you that source is sending some a lot of money somebody's way for you to accomplish the things that you've been saying that you wanted to accomplish and the things that you all have left behind and all the hard work that you put into things. See, at first, somebody was not tuned into their higher selves. This right here was a person who was being blind to the truth. They were ignoring other people. They were denying their feelings about things. Just like I'm talking about like somebody's compass was completely off. And it's, 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 too, it's too many moving parts to your life to even really keep going, like to even delve back into what could have thrown your compass off, you know, starting from somebody's childhood childhood again it could have you may not even have been in an abusive situation this is what we're talking about breaking generational cycles and breaking generational chains aquarius people in your family may have said oh well you don't need all that money because people people who have money are evil that seed was planted you kept watering that seed over and over and over again until what guess what you hated money so people came across with not even realizing that you needed the energy of money to pay your rent to pay your car note to pay so your relationship with money is completely different than it was before so that's why on this side now that everything is behind you and it's over even if it comes up in your spirit it's because maybe that person or that organization hasn't come to terms with the fact that they that they have no more access to you so if that comes up in your spirit, like I said, get your rest and continue journaling so you can get it out of your spirit, okay? Yep, a time to give rather than a time to take. That's right. So Virgo is a very analytical sign. There are They are the I analyze sign. This is where you're really analyzing your life. And I don't care how pleasant or, or harmless the dream is about an organization that you may have left or some kind of a relationship that you may have left. Remember, Source has created space that thing is gone. It's like this right here. The death card is over. Not and it's not for you to 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 bring it back to drag back into this cycle that we're in right now. You're moving forward. You just, I mean, seriously, if you have a dream about something that you left behind that was devastating for you, it could have been a friendship, a romantic relationship, a job. It doesn't matter what it is. Even if you have a dream about it, when you wake up and your eyes pop open, the first thing you should say, source, thank you. Thank you that that is behind me. Those energies have no access to me whatsoever. I don't care what they're saying or what they're doing behind me. It's onward and upward from here. 
okay? That's what I'm seeing for you, Aquarius. That's what I'm seeing for you all. That is what I'm seeing for you all. So like I said, the moon in Aquarius really detaches all of us from every day. It distances us from the, the known reality. It makes us spread our wings, open our minds to a bigger cosmic picture, right? And so... So we all came here on a mission. This was your mission, Aquarius. This was your mission. So whatever relationship you had when it came about money, that has completely changed, right? Somebody is using their hands to make money. Somebody is using their hands to make money. You could be a songwriter. You could be a card reader. You could be a, you could uh, fix computers. You could, whatever it is you're doing, you could be a typist. It doesn't, something where you're using your hands, you're making money. You could be folding t-shirts. You could be folding blankets. You could be folding envelopes. Whatever it is you're doing, you're using your hands to make money, Aquarius. So let's pull your number card before we close this out. This is very, very nice, Aquarius. Very nice. So when I tell you that this solar eclipse was like a huge reset button for you, anything that you go back to your past and pick up, you know, and bring it into your your um into your present situation or your future. That's all on you. It, it really it's all on you, Aquarius. Because again, Source gave all of us a huge reset button. So the only reason it would come up in a dream or anything like that is because people could be talking about you. Um, they and it may not even be negative. They somebody could just be simply saying, "Has anybody talked to Aquarius?" That's simple. It really could be just that simple, right? Two, I am diplomatic, right? You have great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. Again, your number is two. It's you and source, right? Let's see if we have a uh, let's see if we have an affirmations card here so we can close out your affirmations card. Let's see if we have an affirmations card here. So again, it's onward and upward for here. Your whole relationship with money has changed. Your whole relationship with yourself has changed. Because again, now you know exactly what nurture your, your affirmations for success. There it is, Aquarius. I am attracting everything I need. I am fully, I'm full of highly profitable ideas. I am grounded. I am connected to my highest calling. I am pushing the boundaries of the ordinary. What's for me will always be for me. I am committed to my purpose. I am making necessary connections. I am connected to all that supports my highest good. Yeah, all that supports my highest good. Like I said before, find out what your moon sign is. Find out what your rising is. Because again, your rising slash ascendant is how people, who people meet when they meet you. They don't meet the Aquarius. It's going to take some time to meet, to meet the Aquarius. Because that, that's your life purpose. That's your identity. That's your creative life force. It may take you some time to figure out what your purpose is, but what people meet is your ascendant. That's how you showed up in the world. When you came through the portal, that's how you showed up in the world, right? And so your moon sign is your feelings, what nurtures you. But your ascendant is pop pow. That's how you popped out. You can you that's how you came into the world, okay, Aquarius? So again, I see success all over your car. So whereas you didn't listen before because of things that happened in the past, your ears are wide open and biggest satellite dishes today you're paying close attention to what source is telling you and you're moving beyond all of that and like i said if something that was you know emotionally draining or traumatic that happened to you in the past as soon as your eyes open you just god thank you source thank you thank you that that is no longer part of my life if i never see that again or if i never experience that again i'm good i mean really i'm really good that's what i have for you and i'll see you on sunday bye